In this episode, we're focusing on servo motors. All servos use a position encoder and controller as part of a closed loop feedback system. Depending on the servo, that feedback loop controls position, speed, or both. The controller sends a command, and the feedback loop compares the target position or speed to the current position or speed, then adjusts accordingly. Most servos use some form of PID controller, and those that measure both speed and position can move into position very quickly without overshooting. Servos are widely used in applications like industrial automation, robotics, and manufacturing machinery. Servos are better suited for higher RPM applications and provide higher torque at higher RPMs, while stepper torque falls off at increased RPMs. Servos can also provide high peak or momentary torque, often three to four times the rated torque to get loads moving and better provide handling of dynamic loads. So here we have an Arduino-based demo. We have the Arduino itself, the servo, the power supply for the motor, and then also a potentiometer. So the potentiometer is connected to the analog input of the Arduino and controls the speed and or position of the servo. In this case, I have a continuous rotation motor, and so that's going to control the speed. Before I do the demo, I'd just like to mention really quick that the code I'm using is the Arduino knob example for servos. It does an analog read on the potentiometer pin, which then maps it to a value between 0 and 180 before sending that value to the servo as its target speed. Since the input and output of the map function have a ratio of about 5 to 1, there's effectively a basic filter built in, so we shouldn't need anything else to filter potential noise in this demo. So right now I'm going to start changing the potentiometer and note the direction and the speed. So it's going to start speeding up, it can go even faster before it starts going back down. I put some blue marker on there so you can see the rotation a little bit easier. Now it's going to go in the opposite direction. So I'm going to put it back to zero, and then I'm going to twist it. You can see I can twist it fairly easily, and that's one of the trade-offs of having the lower holding power is that it just it doesn't hold it in position as strongly. And while this servo is very small and could be used in an RC car, it's not uncommon to find servos rated for thousands of RPMs or hundreds or thousands of watts. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our video on stepper motors as well.